Today I have a book recommendation and summary for you. The book we will be reviewing is The Reason I Jump, The Inner Voice of a 13 Year Old Boy with Autism. If you're new to this channel, this is the Goodman Life XL channel. My name is Quentin and this is a channel dedicated to following the journey of our three soon to be four year old daughter Dior who was born with autism and cerebral palsy and as a part of the different things that I do on this channel one thing specifically I like to do is recommend books you should read that you can give to your family members or friends to kind of help them understand uh, what autism and cerebral palsy are all about now if you want to know more details on why specifically I started this particular part or segment of my channel you can click up here and you, it'll take you to a video that explains that. The book we're reviewing is The Reason I Jump. It's by Naoki Higashida, uh, a 13 year old boy with autism who uh, was nonverbal. And the, this book was originally in Japanese and David Mitchell, who is an American author, took the book and translated it into the English version that is popular today and as i stated naoki was a 13 year old boy at the time with autism uh, he was non-verbal but was able to communicate using a japanese alphabet grid so what where the book is set up it's it's sort of a question and answer form questions are posed to naoki and he answers those questions to give you an insight on what it is to be a person with autism and what I really enjoyed about the book is it gave me insight on what it really was to be a person with autism now we all know if you know one person with autism you know one person with autism Naoki is clearly even though he's nonverbal the way he's able to communicate through the uh, Japanese alphabet grid you can tell that he's very high functioning so of course you may be dealing with someone who may not be as high functioning as Naoki, but it gives you some sort of a starting ground to understand what goes on in the mind of an autistic child. It takes you on a journey. It's kind of like Naoki's memoir. So people ask him different questions such as, would you like to be normal? Why do you wave goodbye with your palms facing yourself? Is it true that you hate being touched? Should we listen to every single word you say? And there's dozens of other questions that are asked and you get Naoki's response and one of the reasons David Mitchell who's the American author was so drawn to this book is because he himself had a son with autism and this and by going through the process of translating this book it gave him a greater understanding of what was going on in the mind of his child uh, for me my daughter who is almost four she has autism and she is nonverbal so I could really relate to this book because it gave me some insight onto Although it may not be how she perceives things or how she would say things, it gave me some insight to what she was thinking. So it takes me from being a person that's always concerned about, okay, this is, I have a child with autism, I'm looking to take care of her. No, this is a person who has real feelings, has real emotions, and just because they can't express themselves verbally or the way that we perceive expression should be, doesn't mean they don't they're not aware and they don't understand what we're trying to say they may just not be able to communicate it back to us in a way that we're able to understand so that's the, the main thing I really got from this book is you know I have to treat my daughter as a person and understand that she understands me in her own way and it's my job to try to better understand her and that's what I that's what I really got from this book now this book is set up as I stated and question format and Naoki does also interject some of his stories which gives you a brilliant insight onto how the level of high functioning that he is the book is not without criticism two of the main criticisms being one some people are not sure as to how much of this is really Naoki speaking and how much is it the author adding to what Naoki has said in the original Japanese version because some people can't seem to wrap their heads around the fact that a 13 year old boy with, with autism and nonverbal and is communicated with a Japanese alphabet grid could could go so deep and provide such insight 
as to what it means to be autistic. So some people have a hard time wrapping their heads around that. So they're not sure if, if the author has taken a little bit and, and, and added to it, or this is what Naoki really intended. The second criticism is the fact that some in some of Naoki's answers, he's he talks as if he's speaking for every child that's on the spectrum. Now, as I stated before, if you know one child with autism, you know one child with autism. So some people are taken aback by that. Despite those two criticisms, small criticisms, I would still recommend The Reason I Jump by Naoki Higoshido, translated by David Mitchell. If you're interested in checking out the book, I have linked a Amazon link in the description that will take you directly to the book if you're interested in checking it out. And I hope to see you guys on the next book review and book recommendation.